Hi everyone, Miss Emily here, and I'm gonna be leading story time for you. Are you ready for story time? We clap and say hello. We clap and say hello. With our friends at story time, we clap and say hello. We wave and say hello. We wave and say hello. With our friends at story time, we wave and say hello. We stomp and say hello. We stomp and say hello. With our friends at story time, we stomp and say hello. Great job, everybody. Great job. This week, we're going to be learning about spiders. Can you say spider? Say spider. Spider. Good job. Can you say spider with a scared face? Because some people are afraid of spiders. Crazy, right? Spider. Spider. Good job. Can you say spider with a really, really happy face because you love spiders and you're so happy to see one? Spider. Good job. Can you say spider really, really loud? Because I think there's a spider hiding around here somewhere. And if we say spider really, really loud, he might come out. Spider! I think I hear the spider. Oh, here he is. Here's the spider. What a cute spider, huh? Spiders have two main parts to their body, the cephalothorax, which is kind of like their head, and their abdomen, two body parts. They have two body parts, but how many legs does a spider have? Do you already know? Okay, good guess. Let's count and see if you were right. Ready? One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight. Eight legs a spider has. Did you guess that? Good job. If you did, better luck next time. And now you know if you didn't. Great job. Spiders have eight legs. And then something else you might notice on our spider is that it's got fangs, two fangs. All spiders have fangs with venom inside. Some spiders like to spin webs. They are able to spin webs out of silk that comes out of the back of their abdomen. Can you pretend like you're spinning silk like a spider would? Good job. Let's pretend to be spiders. Can you pretend like you have two spider fangs with venom inside and you're gonna use those to bite into your food and Suck up all the juices. Good job, spiders. Now let's pretend like we have eight legs just like a spider. We're gonna hold up four fingers on each hand. To do that, we're just gonna tuck our thumbs in. And let's count to make sure we have the right amount. One, two, three, four. Okay, that's right. One, two, three, four. Okay, that's right. Let's make sure it's eight all together, ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight legs. Can you show me your spider legs and wiggle them around? Great job, spiders. Now we're gonna sing a song about spiders that you might already know. So if you know the words, please sing along with me. And if you don't, that's okay. You can still follow along with my dance moves. Ready? The itsy bitsy spider climbed up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. And the itsy bitsy spider climbed up the spout again. Great job! Do you want to do that one one more time? Let's try it again. Ready? The itsy bitsy spider climbed up the water spout. 
Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. And the itsy bitsy spider climbed up the spout again. Great job, everybody. Now we're going to count some spiders on the felt board. Can everybody sit down with me while I count on the felt board? How many spiders do I have on the felt board? Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. Five little spiders climbing up a wall. Along came a field mouse and made one spider fall. Uh-oh, bye spider. Now how many spiders do we have? One, two, three, four. Four little spiders climbing up a wall. Along came a, what's this animal? A hummingbird. Along came a hummingbird and made one spider fall. Uh-oh, maybe that hummingbird was trying to steal some spider webs to build its nest with. How many spiders are left? One, two, three. Three little spiders climbing up a wall. Along came a spooky bat and made one spider fall. Now how many spiders are left? One, two. Two little spiders climbing up a wall. Along came a hoo, hoo, hoo. What animal is this? We just learned about it a few weeks ago. An owl! Along came a hoot owl and made one spider fall. Oh no! How many spiders are left? Just one! One little spider climbing up a wall. Along came a friend. And now there are no spiders left at all. Bye spiders! Bye! Great counting, everybody. We're gonna do one more song before the end of story time. Can everybody stand up and do what I do? Ready? First, we're gonna pretend to be spiders. Do you remember how we held out our four fingers on each side to make eight spider legs? Let's just crouch in a position like this with our spider legs out. Ready? I'm a little spider, watch me spin. If you'll be my dinner, I'll let you come in. Then I spin a web to hold you tight and gobble you up in one big bite. <laughs> Great job, spiders. Let's try that one one more time. Ready? Get your spider fingers ready. I'm a little spider, watch me spin. If you'll be my dinner, I'll let you come in. Then I'll spin a web to hold you tight and gobble you up in one big bite. <sighs> yummy, yummy. Great job, spiders. Spiders are a pretty easy animal to see anywhere. You can see them in your house, you can see them in your yard, you can see a lot of them here at Clay Pit. So I hope that this week you take a hike and you go and you look for some spiders. If you do come to hike at Clay Pit, you might notice that a lot of the, what we call split rail fences, they're little wooden fences that we have at the intersection of each hiking trail and horse trail. These split rail fences have a lot of spiders that live in the cracks. So the next time you walk by one of these, look for the webs. And when you see the webs, try to see if you can see any spiders in them. If not, maybe you can find a beautiful orb web or one of those really fancy webs that you'll see between two sticks um, in the forest. And maybe you can find a spider that likes to live on that. So I hope that this week you go out and you look for a spider. But if you find that spider, are you gonna kill it? Oh, we don't go into the spider's house and kill it. If we see a spider web, are we gonna try to, to throw a rock at it or to hit it down? 
No, we don't want to hurt the spider's web because then we would hurt the spider. So when we go looking for spiders, we're not going to hurt the spiders. We're just going to watch them and let them be. And if we're lucky, maybe we can watch them eating a little bug. That would be cool. All right, it's time to sing the goodbye song. Ready? We clap to say goodbye. We clap to say goodbye. With our friends at story time, we clap to say goodbye. We wave to say goodbye. We wave to say goodbye. With our friends at story time, we wave to say goodbye. We stomp to say goodbye. We stomp to say goodbye. With our friends at story time, we stomp to say goodbye. Great job, everybody. I'll see you next week.